Hello, crafty ladies. Oh, excuse me. I just sneezed like four times in a row. But I wanted to uh, show you this tutorial. Um, I know that many of us, we go on Pinterest. I'm like addicted to Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest is a wonderful place to get inspiration. But sometimes, some of the stuff that we pin, when we click to see who created it or when we click to find out um, if we do something that's inspired by them, um, you know, who did it? Who who done this first or whatever so that you can give proper credit? Um, sometimes you just go to a blank page. It's like, uh, you know, you when you click it, it just clicks to... Um, just the picture, the photo, no link, no nothing. So, if whoever created this first sees this video, please, please, please uh, tell me and I will give credit where it is due. Um, but it is a, uh, a beautiful uh, shabby chic uh, burlap bow that I'm going to teach you how to make. Um, and we're going to use a very unconventional item. Um, I am going to be using, hold on, I got hung, okay, this come off of my turkey uh, for Thanksgiving, and I'm going to be using some of this, this is the netting off of your turkey, so um, you definitely <laughs> want to, um, you know, rethink about using stuff like this, it's, it's actually really pretty, um, you know, it looks like one of those uh, things that go over the hats and stuff. But it come off my turkey. See? Half pound per guest. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. All right. I have pulled together some burlap. These are burlap strips from a burlap bag that I purchased. And they're frayed beautifully. Um, as you can see, the burlap bag had... Uh, markings on it love 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 this is some of Tim Holtz uh, fabric I wanted to use this um, this is a wonderful fabric I love the fact that he come out with these fabrics um, I found mine at my local Joann's that's where he has those uh, I've made a flower I've pulled out some uh, stamens and uh, I'm also going to uh, use some of these uh, pearls here. They're teardrop pearls. And um, I'm going to create a center for the flower here with these. And then I'm going to put the stamens in there. So that's going to be the first thing we're doing. Okay, so this is just a simple um, fl uh, flower that's made out of lace. Um, you just do a gathering stitch. Uh, get a little piece. I think I used about a seven and a half inch piece and then I gathered it by run, doing a running stitch along the top edge and pulling it together, gluing my sides uh, together as you see here, gluing the sides together and then, uh, excuse me, my voice is going, uh, you know, and then get it ready. Now, um, I have cut a hole um, right there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the stamens in there first. Okay. Just gather you up about six stamens. And we're going to feed them right through there like that. And I'm just going to put a little glop of glue nothing fancy okay let that dry a moment and you can position them as it's drying just like that okay um, and I'm gonna snip off the excess Okay. All right.
right. So now what I'm going to do, just going to position them a little bit better like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take these uh, teardrop pearls and I'm going to just go all the way around the center of this flower Oop. like so. This is just a different way to um, do your flower. Um, these are the teardrop pearls that do not have the hole at the top of them. They only have it um, on the bottom. So um, I um, wanted that particular style so that um, I can make flower centers like this. Now, the flower centers, um, I got my inspiration from Fiona Jennings. Um, she's the one that showed um, how to take these types of pearls and make several different styles of flowers and designs. I'll put her channel um, in the description box down below. Now I'm just getting this positioned to where, there we go. And just kind of scrunch up your, um, boy this glue, this glue sticks stringier. Ugh. Ooh, I hate stringing glue string. <clears throat> we are supposed to be getting like ice and snow. I can deal with the snow. I just don't like ice because um, ice storms are very debilitating to the community. We're talking power out for weeks. I remember back in 92 here in Tennessee, we had a terrible one. And um, we had to uh, cook off the wood stove, put everything that was in the refrigerator out on the deck. Our electricity didn't come on for th uh, three weeks because uh, we lived out in the boonies. And uh, it's just uh, debilitating. I mean, I can do snow all day long but when it comes to ice covering everything nope 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 I don't like it at all because that means no power no nothing my glue gun wouldn't work either I would go nuts honestly I thought I was going to back in those days but I had my brother so I tormented him <laughs> We got bored. <laughs> oh gosh, the days. Okay, there. So isn't that beautiful? It's kind of like a new idea of trying to, uh, to do a uh, different style flower. You know, we don't have to be perfect. This is chubby chic. So it was just an idea I had, and I wanted to try it out, and it, it comes out pretty good. I would probably revamp it a little bit, but you know what? I like it. It'll stay. I'm good with it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, I am going to I'm going to show you how to fray your fabric. You're going to snip it like this about inch increments and then you're going to tear it like that. Just like that. Okay? And see, you have that beautiful frayed edge on your fabric. Just what you want. And see, you can pull off more frays. 
to make it even more okay so take out your frustrations on the fabric <laughs> just rip it rip it rip it I'm frustrated because it seems like when I get over one dang cold I'm getting another one it's aggravating <clears throat> okay so you're going to fray your burlap um, now you you can use burlap ribbon you can use um, just anything you want um, you know that's burlappy um, I don't know if that's a word but I'm using it um, you know it doesn't have to be a burlap bag it just so happens I purchased one at a thrift store and I was like cool you know um, this is the, like you know the only thing I have against burlap is that it's itchy and you have all these little fibers everywhere that's the only thing um, I love burlap I love the look of it but I'm sure if you use the burlap ribbon that's wired and sewed on the edges, you wouldn't have all this fiber. But sometimes, you know, we have to do what us crafters have to do to get what we want. Okay, there we go. Okay, the object of this bow, well, that just tore all apart. Look at that. Just tore all apart. Okay. Well, we'll use these two. Um, the object of this bow is layering, basically. Um, so, um, if you want the lettering in here, which I do, um, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start layering this. Okay. So, and I'm going to make a, an X because this is where my concentration is going to be. And then, see, I can take this and fray it even more, you know, just like that. Okay. So, I don't, I'm not worried that one's bigger than the other. It kind of gives it that shabby look. Okay, so I'm just going to put some hot glue down. And then I'm going to press it down. Please do not tap your fingers on there because I have done that so many times and burnt the far out of myself. Okay. Next, I'm just going to tie this in a loose knot like this. And this one is going to go down like that. This is the first piece of fabric. Okay. Then we're going to get some of our turkey lace. That's what we'll call it. Turkey lace. I don't know. I'm sure there is a technical name for this. But in Miss Angie's world, it's turkey lace. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's turkey lace. Turkey, turkey lace. Okay. All right. And see, you can take it and scrunch it up. Look at that. Budimus. Love it. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there. Kind of get it in there like that. Because I'm not sticking my finger in there. And you can spread it out like that. Just kind of give it a, a whirly do. Here is some dainty lace that I have. And see, this is all I'm doing. I'm building layers. Building, building, building. 
see some real pretty dainty lace I'm gonna put a shorter piece like that okay now you can take this and make a shorter um, bow like that and if you want to fray the ends of your fabric just give them a snip and then rip it like that and that frays them I'm telling you you can get evil with this fabric it's an awesome quality fabric okay all right we're gonna layer that I need another glue stick Now this bow can be attached to a project. Um, you can put a hanger on it and just hang it on your curtain. Use it as a tie back for something. Um, use it as, you know, on a wreath. Um, that would be great. Um, just, you know, just about anywhere. Now, we definitely need some pearl. I got to have some pearl. So, I'm going to put some of this pearl. Now, these are fused pearls, means they will not come off the string. And uh, you can find these um, at your local craft store in um, the Christmas section. I always get mine after Christmas. Um, and another good place is Goodwill, uh, thrift stores like that, where you can find them. And uh, really good places to find stuff like that. Uh, like this, you know. And Isn't that beautiful? I know a friend that is actually going to love this. She'll want it because she's um, doing her house um, very. Uh, I don't know what your style would. It's kind of like the old chalk paint, and it's shabby chic. I think it's shabby chic. She might call it something else, but I, I really, it's beautiful, and um, I think she'll love it. Okay. So now we're going to add a little tool. Yes, we are. We've got to add a little bit of tool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it into like a little bow. And then again, we're just layering. We're going to put it some hot glue right across there. And you're going to fit it right down in the middle of those pearls. Just hold it there for a couple of seconds. Because um, you definitely don't want to get your fingers burned. Noop, 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 noop. Okay. Alright. And now what you're going to do is you're going to snip those um, edges so that it will fray outward and you might have to add a little bit more depending on your taste all right now there we go now you're going to add your flower Now, another thing that you can do is, 
Isn't that beautiful? I just think it turned out so pretty. Now, another thing that you can do is if you want to bring out more burlap, like, you know, more edges, just snip off some pieces, fray the edges like this. Okay, and then just kind of lay it, cross hatch, you know, like that. Another piece like this. Fray the edges. You know, and you can still trim it off a little bit if you want. If you don't like all of those long tails. You know, just work it, work it, work it. There we go. This is very shabby sheep. Very, this would be beautiful, um, you know, on just about anything, I think. And see if you have some extra, um, like some extra fabric, all you, you do it just like that, just crisscross it like that, and then glue it there, and then you have something to hang your um, bow with, just like that, just glue it like that, okay. So now you have a little hanger for your bow. Oh. I think I'm going to kind of glue that to that just for added measure. Now I just think this is darling. I mean, you know, it's it's just shabby cheap. It's not um, perfect. And that's in the whole reason behind it. And I think I need another piece of burlap right there. And let's see. Yep. Yeah. Another piece. Oh yeah, that did it, right there. Now see, you've got some dainty lace in there. Don't forget to trim your edges. Off at angles. Just beautiful. And look, the turkey lace looks awesome. Look at that. Just beautiful. So, I hope this tutorial has inspired you to keep your turkey lace for one. Um, grab some burlap, some pearl, and some lace. Make you a flower. Plop it on there and make you something just as beautiful and dainty and feminine and just wonderful I absolutely like this and again if the lady that done hers on pinterest sees this video please let me know who you are because the 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 photo that i have um does not give me a link or anything to where i can uh give um credit to so um please 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 let me know 
I would really, really appreciate it. And so, and you see how I'm just snipping that and then tearing this like that. You got to love Tim Holtz fabric. It's just fabulous. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I made it. So, all right. Until next tutorial. Chat with you later. Bye-bye.